Hi YouTube, hope you've all had a really good day. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Segola 4600 Extreme DVR Aqua and it's in the 1.2 XL setup. Okay, so the job that we're going to be painting with this gun today is on this Range Rover Evoke. So the only thing that I've actually done on this so far is the repair was on this middle door here that I'm just tack ragging off now. And the lower part of that door, just a little bit of a scuff on the rear arch and down that rear bumper. And I've just put one coat of black water base over those before we started the job. Just my method behind that is it basically just saves me a bit of cost on actual mixed colour when I come round to do a job. Now we've got this Segola 4600 Extreme DVR Aqua in a 1.2 XL setup. Now I have tried the 1.3 XL um, when I first got this but I have to say it wasn't that I didn't quite get on with it, it just I felt that it put a little bit too much paint down for my preference. Um, we're using the less than all water based system and I found that the 1.2 XL was a lot better suited for this DVR Aqua. Now as far as this DVR Aqua goes or any of the Scholars, there is a link in the description to this video of the application guides from on the Segola website. Now they are very very accurate so if, you've, if you're looking to buy one of these Segolas but you're not quite sure which one to go for uh, and which setup would suit your paint system and you know the clear coats that you use best if it's say the DVR clear or something like that then I would say just take a few minutes and just pop on their website and just take a look through their sheets they are very extensive and there's a lot of information in there to help you pick the right gun choice as far as the Segolas go now I've been using this DVR Aqua now for uh, probably say a good two months but because it's the first water based gun so to speak that I'm going to review and we're not using solvent with it I wanted to give it plenty of time so I could compare it to the other guns now currently the actual retail price on this at PMP supplies in a non-digital is £425 including delivery now at the moment they do have a 25% off sale which would make this gun £325 uh, £320 sorry now I've got to be honest with you, if you are in the market for a new base coat gun at the moment for Waterborne and this is also capable of spraying solvent as well, then for £320 and the non-digital £320 comes with a free gauge as well and um, it's worth 75 quid. this gun is an absolute steal. Now I've used the LS400 for running this water base system that we've got. Um, I've tried the DV1 base um, and I've got to be honest I have I've fell in love with this it's really nice it puts a really nice fine atomization down which means that I'm getting a real lovely perfectly silky smooth finish on this base coat once this base coat is dry um, there's no rough edges on it whatsoever the lay down on it is really nice and really flat um, and you'll probably see later on in the video I have actually left um, some of the clear coat footage in and this job finished so you can just see how this came out um, just to show just how nice the clear coat went down over this waterborne paint the other thing that I really like about this is you can run this from anything from about one to one and a half bar um, I found is the sort of sweet spot for myself um, which makes spraying the really awkward coarse silvers um, that you get like the dark patch around stuff like moon dust and things like that and um, Volkswagen reflex silver colors like that are so easy to spray with it um, and this I found that I've not needed a wet bed for this once um, I've just been able to use the waterborne and put it straight down with a really nice low pressure but it still atomizes really well at low pressure um, now obviously that's based on our particular paint system the less than all that we're using but I, I mean I can't say that I've had any issues with this atomizing whatsoever I did find that it atomized better with our system with the 1.2 XL as opposed to the 1.3 XL I just found that the 1.3 XL in the aqua was a little bit too heavy but if your particular water 
base system is a little bit thicker on the base coat side then you would probably suit the 1.3 XL a little more now as far as this gun goes we're obviously using the digital version which again if you've got the discount code you can get one of these digital guns for around 405 pound which for a digital gun of this quality and also this build quality I think that is an exceptional price now as I said before the non-digital um, coming in at around about 320 quid um, the, I mean the only thing that I can compare that kind of price range to if you use that discount code is the LS400 and I do like this gun over the LS400 now I did get a comment the other week saying that oh you know it's alright you know you're plugging all these Segolas and blah 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 that's fine but you know if you guys go and buy one of these or if you don't go buy one of these it makes no difference to my pocket whatsoever you know I'm trying to give you a genuine unbiased review um, hence why now we've also upgraded all the footage to being shot in ultra HD so you know you can genuinely see all the detail of the job as we're doing it so even if you're not looking or listening to what I'm saying in the video and my recommendation as far as the guns go you can see it for yourself just how easily these guns can put out such a nice finish and such a really really nice job I mean this particular Range Rover Evoke came out absolutely stunning now I used the Segola 4600 DVR Aqua with the 1.2 XL for base coat and then I am using the Segola 4600 DVR Titania Pro in a 1.2 XL for the clear coat now a lot of you guys have also been asking me about this gun and I will have a review up on this gun on next Saturday for you guys so you can see this in a little bit more detail and the reason why I left this clear coat footage for this first coat clear in was just so you can see just how nice the clear coat lays down with this gun over the base coat with it being so smooth that we just put down with the other Segola that obviously we're doing the review for today now even at full price um, these guns the digital model comes in at 539 and the non-digital gun comes in at I think 425 now for me I think for a base coat gun of this quality which a bit like I said in the last video you know for me Segola seems to be a very underrated gun and a very underrated brand there doesn't seem to be as much advertising in the social media side and that sort of things with Segola as there are say the likes of Sata uh, and Devilbis and Iwata but I have to say these guns are like right up there I mean the first gun that I tried was the DVR clear the 1.3 XL and it just made you know especially like prestige cars like this just so effortless and fast but compared to say the Sata which I feel is a nice fast gun I felt like the Segola gave me a lot of control um, and I know Sonny on Facebook, um, he got one of the DVR clears and he said exactly the same thing. That he found that although it was fast, he felt that like he had a nice amount of control. Which for me is key. I don't mind putting a coat of paint down or a coat of clear coat down really quickly. But I still want that control so I can control the finish and I control the flow of paint. Obviously so we can get that nice factory match. And the combination of these two guns on this Range Rover Evoke meant that literally I did a quick 10 minute nib and polish on this job and it was absolutely bang on factory I couldn't have asked for any more so that is about it for this video guys I will leave you with some pictures of this car finished so you can see just how nice this looked when it was all done and dusted and I will see you again soon um, the next main video will be the review on this DVR Titania Pro which will be up at the same time as this video went live next Saturday. So that's it for me for today guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon.